Joining me now is one of the world's leading experts in human challenge trials. Andrew Catchpole is the chief scientific officer for HVivo, the company helping lead the trials in London. It's a pleasure having you on, sir, and thank you. Let's start with some quick questions, a speed round, if you will, uh, for, for, for those uh, viewers who may be new to all of this. Firstly, what's the difference between a clinical phase three trial and a human trial? The human challenge studies are where we do directly inoculate the volunteers with the virus. So that differs to a normal phase three trial where people in the phase three trials are given the vaccine and then asked to lead their normal life. And therefore, it's totally by random luck whether they become exposed to the virus or not. Right. And we'll do more on that in a moment. How many people will be involved in this trial? So this first trial is all about determining the lowest amount of virus required to cause an infection. So we're starting at extremely low levels. And then if nobody gets infected, we'll start with the next level up and keep going until we get an established infection. So it's difficult to say exactly how many subjects will be required for this trial because it will depend on right. how many doses we need to test. So somewhere between 50 What about and the 90. demographics? Got it. Demographics OK, 15 and 90. Well, what about demographics? Yeah, go on. It's all, it's all about minimising risk. So therefore, the demographics are associated with making sure we're using the lowest risk possible volunteers for this study for severe disease. So we'll be working with 18 to 30 year olds, for example. How long will the trial take? So the trial itself will take anywhere between two to four months, depending on how many doses of virus we need to test before we're able to establish an infection. And what are the main risks? So the main, the main risks for any clinical trial are that the, the disease progresses further than we anticipate, which is why we're doing a number of factors to minimise those risks. Firstly, having an extremely mm. low dose of virus, and then we're using only subjects which have minimal risk, i.e. no known risk factor for the disease, as well as then also using antivirals as a preemptive measure to further minimise the risk of severe disease. Got it. OK. This hasn't yet got ethics approval from UK regulators. Why is that? It's just the stage of the process we're at. All clinical trials must be independently reviewed by an ethical committee and then in addition to that reviewed by the regulators. We're at the stage where we've now got this contract with the UK government. We've designed the study and we're just about to then submit our plans for the study to both the ethical review board and the UK regulator, the MHRA.